I'm going to do a set of three videos that explain how to take care of this battery. Uh, it's got three partially dead cells and three good ones. So I'm going to show you what to do to bring this back to life. I'll do two more videos after this one that will explain more and you'll see that uh, it is possible to bring these batteries back to life. So you can bring them back so that they're usable again for a good number of years. Uh, it's much cheaper than buying a new battery. The first thing that you need to do is to clean off all of the top, the dirt that's on top. Just make sure that you haven't got anything between the terminals that's going to be causing the power to leak across them. So that's pretty good. So I've loosened these caps off so we can take a look inside. And I think you can see that there is water. Move my light a little bit. Yeah, there, there you are. The water is in there. All of the cells have water because I've added water to three of the cells. These three cells here, uh, the plates were showing. Uh, I didn't notice it last summer and uh, kind of killed my battery. So we'll take a look at the testing to see what we need to do to get this going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check each one of these cells to see what the voltage is. Okay, cell number one is 2.1. 2.1, 2.1, that's cell number three, cell number four, 2.1, number five, 2.1, you can see that they're actually dropping a little bit. And then the final cell, touch to the post. one point seven so the worst cell is the last one we're gonna make these three come back up to met to equal this one and here we are across the whole battery twelve point nine eight so it's not terrible but I do have that bad cell and these two weak cells that uh, will be causing the battery to drain faster and when I'm camping I want to make sure that I get all the uh, energy I can at night. Another thing we'll do is we'll use the load tester and see what kind of shape the batteries are in according to it. So we're right here at uh, 12, 13 volts just about. That's what we measured. And uh, we'll pull this switch for a count of 10. That's what the instructions tell us. And we'll see where it comes back to and where it's sitting. So here we go for 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's come back to about 12.3 volts. And if we do it a second time, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You saw that it got down into the yellow weak. So it's it's got some juice, but not enough. The next thing we need to do is check each cell with the hydrometer and see what kind of uh, reading we get. It should be in the middle of the green. A good reading is uh, midway in the green section, which is about 1285. This one's just holding on to the green again. 
And this one's about the same. It's actually uh, sitting in the white just a bit. We put the covers back on. I'm just putting them on loose. Now I'm going to charge the battery uh, fully on a normal charge. And I'm going to use my charger. It's a 26 amp charger and it has the desulfating uh, option on it. But right now I'm just going to charge it up to 100%, then I'll desulfate it. So that'll start up automatically. And I'm just going to let it charge. And I'll come back as soon as it's charged up. It's done charging now. And you can see it's come up to 13.1, 13.13. And I'll remove the charger. We're going to run a 52 watt light bulb, which is the old energy savers in Canada through this uh, inverter, 200 watts, and uh, there's the light bulb, 52 watts. So we'll begin our test. I've had a little bit of uh, drainage on, on the uh, top off of the battery. So uh, we're looking at a battery that's above 100% right now. And we'll start our charge. We've got the uh, clock at uh, 12, just to see how long it takes for this light bulb to drain the battery down to 60 percent. So we've got our amps here, our voltage here, and we'll just let it go and I'll come back later and we'll see what the clock shows, what the voltage is, and uh, continue from there. As a point of interest, you'll notice that it's gone to 12.42 volts and it's been about seven minutes so the battery has immediately dropped and lost about 20% uh, of its charge in seven minutes we'll continue the test So we're just uh, an hour and 45 minutes, hour and 46 minutes into the test. And uh, it's getting pretty late. I'm going to let it go all night. Uh, I'm expecting it to go down to probably 11.9 uh, volts by the morning. Uh, probably another seven hours away, six hours away. So we're still drawing almost five amps. 12.31 volts um, so 12.31 volts is uh, just about 70% full so we're doing we're doing pretty good with it except for the first 20% and that's what we have to correct so we'll see you in the morning been five and a half hours now uh, with this light burning at uh, 4.85 uh, amps started at about five amps or so uh, it's it's slowly drawing less amps because the battery has less power and it's at 12.07 volts which is uh, 50 percent so uh, I don't want to take it down too much I don't want to take it down lower than that Let's turn off the uh, test now and uh, I'll put it on charge so that it comes back all the way up to the top, uh, fully recharged. And also, uh, once it's done that, uh, we'll be able to put it on desulfate uh, for about a day and uh, let that do its, uh, do its thing. And we'll do this test all over again. And we'll check it to see what kind of difference we have. We'll take all this off and put it on charge. So it's connected now. And uh, it's beginning its charging phase. 
and uh, we'll come back in a number of hours when it's charged back up again. The uh, battery has been charging now for about uh, 14 hours and uh, it's gone into just about its float mode. So uh, I'm going to change the, uh, the uh, setting on the charger into the recover mode which will pulse um, a higher voltage uh, up in the 15 volt range and I'll let that go until it finishes the cycle and uh, you'll see the voltage change as it kicks on so now it's in the recovery mode and uh, it's going to start to desulfate the uh, plates inside the battery so we'll come and check on it uh, a little bit later. This will take about uh, half a day, so 12 hours, and uh, I'll come back again.